Hi, my name is Pia. I'm a five-year-old Shetland Sheepdog, or I'm commonly called a Sheltie. They call me Pia, but my um, official American Kennel Club name is Pia Alonzo Horseback of Astoria. Today I'm going to tell you how to be a good Sheltie, and what roles and responsibilities you are required to do on a daily basis. First, a little about me. I was born in Iowa, and was raised as a puppy in New York City. When I was three, I moved to Colorado, and now live in Denver. I have a stepsister who's a rough collie, and is now three, and really annoying. She is bigger than me, and a bully. Luckily, I have the smarts to outwit her. This is my daily routine, and yours may vary and should vary slightly to meet your own needs. The first responsibility you have every day is called Dawn Patrol. Dawn Patrol happens every morning between 3.30 a.m. and 4.30 a.m. This is the first active patrol of the day and is a walk around the apartment building that takes 20 to 30 minutes. It is a great chance to catch up on all the smells from the other dogs from the previous night. Generally not much will happen on this patrol as it is very early. The biggest thing you have to watch out for is coyotes, owls, and hawks. It's also a great chance to chase all the rabbits around the building and enjoy the morning cool temperatures. After getting back from the morning patrol it is time for a rest before breakfast. We all get in bed and have a nap before breakfast. This is a really great time to get belly rubs. This is only one to two hours a day and I sleep in the bed. My stepsister likes to sleep in the bed most of the night. Now comes morning feeding time. You need to wake someone up to get fed in the morning. I am very good with time and perform this duty daily between 7.30 and 7.45 faithfully. If I'm really hungry and the sun is out, I can trick them to get up as early as 6.45 to get fed. For me, a simple pot of the face is an effective. After breakfast, all the dogs around the building are being let out for their first walk of the day. A simple duty for us. You just need to bark every time you hear a dog. Usually 5 to 10 barks will suffice and not get the humans too upset with you. Now it is time for the day patrol. Day patrol is quite easy for the most part. Your duty is to protect everyone in the apartment working from home. The main duty is to be the first line of defense. You should always be between the front door and anyone you need to protect. There are multiple posts I like to perform this duty from. I have four different dog beds and at one point I had seven dog beds. Most important is to make sure you are between the front door and anyone you need to protect. Very basic duty. You just need to alert when a dog is close or the Amazon delivery driver is in the building. At noon, we have the second outdoor patrol of the day. This is the longest patrol of the day and lasts from one to two hours. We do not do a pat full patrol of the building, but head to the park for all the great smells and to chase the Canadian geese. Generally, all the dogs you meet on this walk can be considered friendly as they do not live in the same building and thus are not considered a threat to us. This is a long and mundane patrol and very, very tiring. You are glad to get back from this patrol and have a nap. Sometimes during the day, you will be assigned deck duty. This involves sitting on the deck and monitoring the parking lot for any activity. This is a wonderful duty as it is generally cooler than the house and you can sun yourself outside. You need to actively patrol the parking lot for other dogs and alert when one is spotted. As these dogs live in the same building, you need to be extra diligent in your alerting duties. Also, the building golf carts must be barked at with vigor and enthusiasm as they make funny noises compared to the cars. You need to be very, very careful and not do too much barking or you lose your deck privileges. This is the most prized position to perform with all of the day-to-day -day duties you are required to perform. About 5 p.m. everyone is done with work and begins one of the most active times of the day. Usually people like to play with us for about a half hour with toys. Generally we have a little rest time between playtime and dinner time. My stepsister, the rough collie, tends to squine and cry and complain about not being fed. My technique is pretty simple, to just simply lie there quietly and give puppy dog eyes. Even though I am five years old, puppy dog eyes are still an effective tool for me and get me lots of sympathy. Dinner is prepared with great care and is usually different every night depending on the food in the house. Oftentimes our dinner is baked or heated in a skillet. Primary ingredient will be chicken, then varied on various vegetables or fruits. My step stepsister refuses to eat unless dinner is drizzled with salmon oil. Talk about a diva. Finally begins the last patrol of the day at about 7 p.m. This patrol can vary. It will be either a patrol of the building where you can catch up on the smells from the day or sometimes a trick to the park for a workout chasing balls and sticks. Once this patrol is complete, you can prepare and get ready to go into night mode duties. After returning from the night patrol and getting paws washed, it's time for paw maintenance. This generally only happens in the winter or when we have been to the dog park and in the water. There are many, many choices for paw maintenance. My favorite product is paw butter. It tastes good and I never get sick when I eat it. After this, it is generally the rest time and standard guard duties. Make sure to always be between the front door and whoever you are protecting. I will sleep outside all night by myself on this duty. One of the nice things is you get to sleep on the cool tile floor. My steps likes to sleep in bed most of the night and less hot and wants to get off onto the tile and cool off. After 9 p.m. generally all the dogs in the building have had the night walk and you can relax and enjoy the evening a bit. That's generally the routines of a Sheltie. You will have different roles and responsibilities but every Sheltie has a responsibility to perform the following tasks as this is the personality of the breed. Thank you for watching. If you should have any questions on how to be a good Sheltie or personality traits of a Sheltie, please leave some comments as we are always here to help.